So let, let me explain something about the significance of the selection sets. Uh, one, they're dynamic, so that as uh, objects, let me just show you this again, right, so if I say find on, as objects are being added to the project, supposing somebody is updating the, the NFC file by exporting the building from Revit as it's been, as it's been drafted, um, this selection stat still applies to the model, so dynamically it's add, it'll add, it, add new options to the selection, add new glazed windows to the selection. Um, the other thing that you can do with it is that you can save it and you can use it in multiple projects. So for example, if I go up here now to the selection sets, first thing I can do is right click and say add the current selection. And I'll, I'll give it a name that, that is um, more meaningful <laughs> so, so other people in the project can understand what it is that this selection set represents. This is my glazed windows. Right, so whenever I pick on that, I'm going to select those. And right, so that would let me do different things to the to the um, selection set that's in my model. Um, I'd mentioned that you can export it. So when you've got a selection set like this, well, in, in fact, I'd moved to the tab there. But normally I was working on here, but I moved to output because if I go to the output tab, I can say output my selection set, so it would be a, uh, any name that I wanted to give it um, and I could save that out so that somebody in another project could bring it in and not have to manually go through the business of, of uh, defining all of the searches. But the other thing I can do is, um, so if I go back here and say, well, let's get rid of that, I'm just going to say delete it, that's the selection set. On my application menu, I can say import search sets XML. Right, so search sets, if I go back to my, um, my, my project folder, which in this case was C drive, it was program files, um, Autodesk, Navisworks Manage, examples, getting started. This this has already been created for you and what it is is an XML document with all the selection sets already in it. Right? So when I do that, open it up, I've now got it this selection of objects. Now what I've, the way they decided to organize this project would, would be like if I said, let's see if I can pick all glazed windows or uh, all glazed, I'm trying to find things that you can see, uh, supply air system, Columns. I don't think this data set is 100% accurate. There are, um, you know, columns first floor is that, but I, columns second floor, third. Um, I don't, I'm not convinced. I think that is actually supposed to show. Well, maybe it does. All columns in the building. Maybe that looks maybe like it is right after all. Floor slabs, or floor slabs just the first floor. So you see how easy it is for me now to manage objects in my my drawing. Like I say, two things, it's dynamic, you can save it out and you can use it in multiple projects.